Who can speak for God? What kind of a nourish a question is that? Only God can speak for God. What, you want to speak for God? Who do you think you are? Well, I, I'm not, uh... Exactly, you're not. You're garnished. But, 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 but nothing shall. But Moses... But Moses what? Moses spoke for God. Moses spoke for God. Moses spoke for God. Of course Moses spoke for God. Who else should speak for God? So someone can speak for God. So now you're Moses. You're Moshe Rabbeinu. <laughs> I'm just saying that not just God can speak for God, but also a man like Moses. A very, very, very special man. Moshe Rabbeinu was a student from Hashem. <laughs> Look, let me put it this way. Moses was a judge. The greatest judge of all time. Right, so question. If Moses were with us here today, would he be the sole authority qualified to decide questions of Jewish law? Well, maybe not the sole authority. No? Could you elaborate on that? Well, in Pasha's Yisrael, there is an incident. Exodus 18. Yisrael. Father-in-law of Moses. Yisrael shows up just before the Torah is given it Har Sinai, and he notices that Klai Yisrael are making a long lineup to see Moshe Rabbeinu. The people came to Moses with various legal cases for him to adjudicate. And Moshe Rabbeinu is giving his judgments on each and every case with his impeccable divine wisdom that he acquired from Hashem. And his father-in-law says, My dear Moshe, what are you doing to the people? You're sitting all alone and people are waiting for you from morning until evening. And then Yisro advises Moses to set up a judicial hierarchy of judges for each group of a thousand, a hundred, fifty, and ten. And every great matter they shall bring unto thee, and every small matter they shall judge unto themselves. Oh, very Shakespearean. Shmiri Vus. Anyway, Moses goes for the idea, the whole legal administration. Why not? It's a good idea. Even God goes for the idea. It's a good idea. Yisro is not shop liver, no. But doesn't that show you how authority works or should work in Jewish law? It shows the importance of delegation. Delegation. Nice. Which shows you that God approves of a legal system in which individuals who are certainly not on par with Moses' wisdom are nevertheless empowered to solve legal problems using the Torah's legislative system. Empowered by Moshe Rabbeinu, by God's own Torah! Which means that in principle, anyone can speak for God. In principle, yes, technically, anyone who has studied the law. The law as taught to him by Moses. And as taught to Moshe by Hashem. And who has studied the law enough to become a rabbi. Precisely. So there are certain individuals who can speak for God. Those who have listened to Hashem. Listened and learned and absorbed and internalized God's teaching, the Torah, deep into their minds, deep into themselves. Those individuals who have listened and learned and absorbed and internalized God's teaching the Torah deep into their minds, deep into themselves. Didn't I just... Yeah.